Alright, so Night of Champions was pretty fucking bad. Um, started off good, but after that, um, right down into the shitter. Nothing really good after the, um, the first couple matches. So, uh, here we go. We got the, um, the pre-show tag team turmoil match. It's alright, I mean, pretty good, actually. Fast-paced. Um, you know, you had, like, a couple, you had, like, three or four, maybe five minute matches between, like, two teams, so, you know, you didn't get really any rest holds. Good counters, too, I mean. So, yeah, this was pretty good. One botch, though, by, uh, fucking Tensai or whatever, try to do the sunset flip or whatever. That was pretty bad. But, uh, other than that, I mean, pretty good. I, I like how, uh, the real Americans, they pushed them a little bit, they gave them two wins, they beat the Usos clean, too. So, yeah, I mean, that was, I don't know if it was clean or whatever, but at least they beat him. Uh, maybe somebody was distracted or something. But I was happy, and they were cheering for him, too. So, I mean, yeah, it, it was decent. And then, uh, primetime players won, which was, uh, predictable. But, yeah, I mean, as I said, good. Then we get, uh, Triple H coming out. Oh, yeah, this is fucking stupid, all right? I, I mean, it's bad enough that in every single Raw and SmackDown, you have to get Triple H uh, cutting a promo, cutting a boring promo, every single start of the Raw and SmackDowns now. Now you get it on every paper. Now you get it on the pay-per-view. It's like, we fucking paid to see people wrestle on this show. You, it's a wrestling show, all right? We didn't pay to see Triple H come out and talk and cut a really boring promo where he talks really slow. No, we came out to fucking see wrestling. God damn it. Come on, can we just see a match? A, like a good match or something? So he, so he makes the Intercontinental Championship match. Which is fucking ridiculous. Because the, the, they say Night of Champions where every championship's defended and you don't even have an Intercontinental Championship match advertised for the fucking show. What the fuck are they doing? <laughs> you, know, you know, you buy the pay-per-view, and you should be able to know the card, or at least the main card. If they had a couple mat or like one or two matches in there for filler or whatever, all right, whatever. But you should know, like, the main card, like, the top, like, five or six matches at least. If, if not, like, the top, I don't know, seven maybe, or however how many fucking matches they have. But... When they say every championship is defended, you should know every fucking championship match, like at least a week before the fucking pay-per-view. I mean, they had to make the United States Championship match, uh, Ziggler versus Ambrose, two days before the fucking pay-per-view. It's like, what the fuck? Come on, make the fucking card, like, so we could get some build up to the match. Not, and, and his promo was fucking boring. Heyman comes out... God, I got a fucking cold, but yeah. I mean, Heyman comes out, uh, begs for the match to be taken off, doesn't get it taken off. Oh, and on the pre-show, Heyman's telling, he's telling uh, Maddox, oh, I'm going to punch the referee so I can get out of here, uh, get, get out of this little scenario. It's like, why the fuck would you do that? Why would you tell somebody, why would you tell a GM how you're going to weasel your way out of the fucking match? It makes no fucking sense. So the pr promo is boring. Heyman comes out, uh, not good, I mean, it's still not that good, it's better, but it's not good still, um, the match is still on, and then Axel tells, uh, Triple H that he's fucking beat him, is this personal, is this personal, you're not taking this match away with Heyman, because I beat you back in May or whatever, so I, Triple H is like, I'm gonna go to the back, and whoever I fucking see first is gonna get an Intercontinental Championship shot, so then, yeah, of course, you hear, SOS, and yeah, there you go, you saw it's Kofi Kingston, and I was a little pissed about this, but uh, I, just, I, I like Kofi as a wrestler, I think he's a good wrestler, but I hate his fucking gimmick or whatever, he has no fucking charisma at all, and his theme song is fucking annoying, so uh, and he's boom, 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 it's fucking annoying as well, but the match was good, it was really good actually, uh, I mean, this was the best match of the night. I'm not even kidding about that. This, uh, this uh, was good. I enjoyed this match. Axel wins clean. Alright, that's good. That's good. Axel wins clean. That's that's what they needed to do here. Um, 
We got the fucking young star. Now the fucking phone's ringing. I don't know. Fucking whatever. Alright, I mean, that was... It's still fucking ringing. I can't get it to fucking stop ringing. Alright. Let's see here. Alright, my bad. That <laughs> fucking bullshit. Uh, <coughs> Alright. So, uh, where were we? Yeah, the Kofi Axel. I mean, they made Axel win fucking clean, which was pretty fucking good. Because it's a young star, you gotta push him, and he's decent. You know, this, proved that, this match proved that he's a good wrestler. Here. Decent wrestler. Maybe not good yet, but he's getting better in the ring, and he's good as a wrestler. I mean, he still has to get his character or whatever gimmick. But... Good wrestler, so I'm happy that they gave him the win. Alright, then you get the fatal four way match between the Divas. Match was alright. For a Divas match, you know, it was passable, I guess. Pretty fast paced. Had some, some botches in there. But the, definitely the spot of the match, the highlight of the match, was the double sharpshooter, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, AJ wins by uh, submission. Um, I, I sort of wanted to see a new champion. I'm sort of getting a little tired of as uh, AJ as champion, but you know it's all right. I guess. I mean, I wish they would have gave it to Natalia or something. But uh, yeah, the match is all right. Not anything special here. Uh, then you get uh, Del Rio versus Van Dam. And this match was not good actually. It was. You know, I actually missed the first like five minutes of this match because I was watching on the fucking computer. In the live stream, like, fucked up, and I didn't see it, but, like, so I don't know how the first five minutes went. Maybe it was, like, awesome or something, I don't know. But, like, when I got back on, like, the last 10 or 15 minutes of the match wasn't that good. It was mediocre, actually. I mean, it, I, I was not enjoying myself <laughs> through this match. Um, and then the finish. What the fuck was up with the finish? The real holds on the cross arm breaker, like, for too long and and he's disqualified what the fuck is up with that finish but then after the match RVD hits the Van Daminator which was pretty cool pretty cool um so I mean the match wasn't good but the ending was cool with the Van Daminator um so I'm, I mean <coughs> um <coughs> well, how long are they gonna keep the bell on fucking Del Rio yeah, he's been, like, in the championship picture for, like, two fucking years or something like that. Ever since he won Money in the Bank in 2011. He's been in the fucking WWE or world title picture ever fucking since. And he's not that good. Alright? Average wrestler, terrible character, equals bad. Alright? If you get average and horrible, that equals bad. Alright? And in and ADR, whatever, A... D R it's fucking bad. All right. Then you get uh, Miz and Fandango, and I, 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 honestly, I can't remember how this match went. Um, I think it was like bad because if it was good, I would have remembered how good it was. So uh, I I don't even remember. You know, uh, I don't know who won. Miz won via figure four. Yeah, the fucking figure four. It's just Miz is fucking stupid. You know, he can't really wrestle. Uh, and his gimmick is terrible. So the Miz, I'm, I do not enjoy. Uh, so yeah. And you get Punk and Axel, or Punk versus Axel and Heyman. Uh, everybody's like, oh, I'm looking so much forward to this match. And I'm like, this match is not going to be good. <laughs> so so you got Punk beating Axel in like seven or eight minutes. Ta he taps out. Um, match was uh, alright, I guess. He used a kendo sticks and chair, which was good. Oh, and, and one other thing. You got a fucking steel uh, chair shot to the head. You know, it was not, like, a good one. But nonetheless, you got a fucking steel chair shot to the head. So, you know, I'll, I'll, I'm willing to say that this was good, all right? That this punky excellent match, you know, all right, well, okay, it, it was good. Because we got the steel chair shot to the head. All right? So then you get punk beating Axel via uh, submission, and then the look on Heyman's face was fucking priceless. 
You know, and then they zoomed in on Heyman's face, and he fucking looked awesome. And then, uh, Punk is chasing Heyman around the ring, and he's not even catching him. This was pretty funny, at, at least. You know, when they, Punk and Heyman. So Punk is chasing Axel, or, uh, Punk is chasing Heyman. Heyman goes down the ramp, and then he goes, or, like, t takes a left, uh, right where the stage is. Goes into the crowd, circles back around to uh, where the timekeeper's area is, and then uh, Punk Punk's not gaining on him either. Like until he get until uh, Heyman gets into the crowd, which was funny. And then uh, Punk finally gets him when he's trying uh, when he's like at the timekeeper's area. Punk throws him back into the ring, fucking hits him with the kendo stick, and every time Punk's hitting Heyman, he's like, "Ow." Don't do that. That hurts. <laughs> it was pretty fucking funny. I was laughing. Um, and then uh, Punk handy, uh, Punk uh, fucking puts handcuffs on Heyman. Um, and just Heyman throughout this whole fucking segment was like, funny. He's like, ow. Don't do that. Ow. It was fucking funny. Uh, so then Ryback comes out. Puts fucking Punk through a table. Heyman fucking covers Punk and... Heyman beats Punk, alright? So does this mean we're going to see another Punk or Ryback feud? Like the first one was that good. The first one fucking sucked. Punk versus Ryback was one of the worst matches of CM Punk's title reign. And now we're going to see the match again like one year later. What the fuck? Can't they think of anything better to do? <laughs> you know, they put them in the fucking like... You know, they were talking about putting them in the fucking... uh. Uh, whatever the Brian with Brian and help him fight against the corporation, which wouldn't be that bad, because at least it's something new, away from Paul Heyman. You know, I I just this Paul Heyman feud with CM Punk, it's getting a little like too long, it needs to end. And you get Ambrose Ziggler, not good. All right, I guess the the beginning was pretty sucky, then it picked up like. He had a two minute period where like the wrestling picked up. Um, match was all right, I guess. Ambrose retains clean, which uh, you know, all right. I mean, you didn't, I didn't really care who won this match because, I mean, Ambrose is like just as good as Ziggler, so whatever. I mean, all right match here. Not anything special. And you get Reigns and Rollins versus primetime players. Uh, mediocre, I guess. You know, it's hard to remember, because uh, I'm sure it wasn't good. Because, again, if it was good, I would have remembered. So, uh, I'm pretty sure it wasn't that good, alright? Reigns retained, or uh, Reigns and Rollins retained. So, yeah. And then you get uh, Orton and Bryan. <laughs> match was okay. Uh, people are saying this was an A-plus match, five-star match. Maybe not five-star, but they're saying this was a really good match. It wasn't a really good match. It was fucking alright, uh, okay? It wasn't anything special. I told you before, Orton can't wrestle, alright? The match with Cena, you know, people are going to say this was a good match just because the match with Cena and Brian was a good match. Um, Cena and Brian was way better than this fucking match. Brian wins via, uh, uh, he hits him with the knee, and then the rough fa fast counts. Like, what the fuck is that? Just give him a fucking clean win already. Alright? You know, and you can tell, right? I told you guys, Cena should have had his fuck, or uh, Brian should have had his fucking moment at SummerSlam when he beat John Cena. That would have been awesome, alright? But it was ruined by Orton. And at this moment, you know, you see Brian winning his first title or whatever. You know, you think it's you know, technically his first title, alright? WWE title. Alright? And now it's like beating fucking Orton. It's like doesn't feel like the same as when he doesn't nearly as much feel as the same as when he beat Cena. So, I mean, this video is going over fucking 15 minutes. I got to end it before 15 minutes so I can get it uploaded faster. 15 minute videos are uh, always fucking uploaded sl slower. So, uh, um, fucking not good pay-per-view. All right. Pretty underwhelming. Uh, started off good. I thought it was going to be a good show, but after, after like, Kofi and Axel, it just went down the drains. So, uh, yeah, fucking not good, alright? So there you go. Uh, I'll be watching Raw. 
And uh, I'll cut five seconds. All right, it's pretty bad pay-per-view. So there you go.